For the first time since 2016, Bennett Academy is back in the girls' basketball state championship after a thrilling win over Geneva. Standing in front of the Red Wings and an opportunity for a third championship is O'Fallon Township. The Panthers come into the state finals for the first time ever after dropping 77 points on Hersey in the semifinals. The Panthers are already showing that first impression on the big stage, and this three-point basket by Malia Robertson puts them up big early 10-0. It was a game of keep away in the first quarter, and it's capped off by another Panther three, this time from Josie Christopher, 15-4 O'Fallon after one. Red Wings quickly wake up in the second. Amelia Solarski is looking for a teammate, but gambles on a three instead, and it pays off to put them back within single digits. OT keeps on rolling with July Apelli, who flies through the defense and scores. Their main game plan was to lock down Lene Beaumont, yet she still finds a way to get her buckets. That three-point play cuts the deficit to 25 to 13. A couple of possessions later, Bennett is back within single digits with Lindsey Harzich nailing the corner three. They trail 27 to 20 going into halftime. The Sam Trimberger show starts in the third. She misses the shot but gets it back, and the second try is good. O'Fallon quickly answers with all-time leading scorer Shannon Dowell, who scores a tough lay-in to increase the lead to 31-24. Back to Trimberger we go, and she's back to scoring. Bennett trails by two after a much-needed basket. Trimberger was a wrecking machine in the paint, and this shot gives Bennett the lead 33-31. Red Wings go on a 17-7 run in the third quarter, and Beaumont floats the ball in to beat the buzzer. It's 37-34 Wings going into the fourth. We're tied at 38, but Amelia Solarski changes that with the three on the wing, and it's good. Panthers are within one with the ball, and Pelly carves up the defense with the floater that puts them ahead at 48-47. Amelia Solarski continues to do her thing by taking another three and kaboom. Red Wings lead 50 to 48 with under a minute to go. Bennett with a chance to ice the game up by two with 20 seconds left, but the layup from Amelia Solarski falls off the rim. While fouling the other way with a chance to tie, Dowell doesn't get the basket, but she is fouled. She sinks both freebies and we are deadlocked at 50. Beaumont with the ball going for the win, it's off, Trimberger tries it after the board, and that's also off, the buzzer sounds, we have overtime. A couple of free throws has Bennett up by three, and Dowell, who will play collegially on this court, hits another crucial three with this one tying it back up. Tied at 54 with O'Fallon inbounding, but Bennett gets the ball back with a clutch turnover. So can they try to win it at the end again? Beaumont does it all herself and it's no good again. Nobody wants the season to end, so let's go to double overtime. Panthers with the ball and Pelly finds Demaya Bolds down low and lays it in off the glass to regain the lead. Bennett trails 60-57 to with one last shot and Beaumont can't connect. Panthers with the board, along with hitting some dagger free throws, ices it. O'Fallon Township is your 4A girls basketball state champions. Despite the loss, Bennett Academy brings home girls basketball state trophy number five. We just knew we had to play basketball the way we play basketball and not let them make not let them make us do anything we don't usually do. Just keep playing hard. My teammates, they come in really clutch and they really used to putting it away late in game. So they really do what they need to do. They lock down on defense and hit big shots when we need them. Credit to O'Fallon, they made a couple plays at the end. We, we weren't able to convert a couple of those chances. It was a great high school basketball game. I'll enjoy it a lot more 10 years from now, I think, than right now, but I'm incredibly proud of this group of kids. Back in December, everyone would have counted us out. We weren't playing a good uh, high level of basketball, and we were able to turn things around and play in the state championship. One of the best state championships there probably ever was, huh? Went in double overtime, and give credit to the coaches, Coach Kilbride, I mean past four years playing for him has been amazing. Like, I've learned so much on the court, off the court, and I couldn't be more grateful to have played for him. I'm extremely proud. Um, we've worked all year for this, and 
especially in the playoff run and everything, like we start playing our best basketball, which is when it really counts. And um, we really put everything out there every night and I'm super proud of our team. It's just a really great group of kids and they held us together and they kept us going. And uh, I, you know, I, I'm just gonna miss being around them on the regular.